I have urged world leaders to unite behind the panel's proposal for a definition of terrorism and to conclude a comprehensive convention on terrorism before the end of the 60th session of the General Assembly. Of course, where there are genuine grievances that encourage people to support and sympathize with terrorism, then we must find peaceful ways to redress those grievances and convince the population that terror is not the way to solve them. Nowhere is that clearer than in the occupied Palestinian territory, which I visited last week. We need to make the Security Council. The vicious assassination of former Prime Minister Hariri was a severe blow. He was a Lebanese patriot, a formidable statesman, and a vital presence in the international community. Within the next few days, I expect to release a report of the fact-finding mission I established in the wake of the killing, and I believe a more comprehensive investigation may also be necessary. All parties must now work together to safeguard Lebanon's stability and national unity. I am encouraged by the commitment given by the Syrian President, uh, Assad, Mr. Uh, President Assad to me and to my special envoy that he will fully and completely implement Security Council Resolution 1559. I expect the full withdrawal of all Syrian troops, including the intelligence apparatus and military assets, to take place before the Lebanese parliamentary elections. Entitled in larger... Bismillah. طبعا انت انتم تقولوا ان هذا المدعو شارون هذا عدو للفلسطينيين وللعرب وجزار وما اليه هناك نظريه اخرى تقول ان شارون هذا عميل للفلسطينيين وعميل للعرب كيف قالوا لان هو يعمل في اشياء تؤدي الى ذبح الاسرائيليين بالعشرات وبالمئات اذا هذا مدسوس داخل الاسرائيليين